Hey friends, finally the secret came out. I can't hide it anymore. Check this out. Yes, it was pointed out in the comments that this guy is not a real developer because he is using a mouse. And yep, that is true. I have even two mouses. I have MX Master 4 and this one mm, Pro X Super Lite 2. <laughs> so yeah, I'm using both of them. And uh, yeah, long story short, yeah, this was is for gaming, this one is for programming and productivity work. If you're curious why I have two mouses, the, here is the answer, but let's dig in details if you want to learn more. So let's start with what I like in this MX Series mouses. This is not my very first MX Series mouse. I had MX Series 2 and MX Series 3, uh, 3S actually, that silent one. All of them are great mouses and actually the design is about the same. Yes, there are minor changes in how it looks and yet there is this new button on MX4 which is good and bad at the same time, but we will get to that. So, what I love in this mouse. Here we have, for example, huge project with huge storyboard. Don't judge me, this project was built before uh, iOS 8 and basically then storyboard basically should have all the screens in one storyboard. But anyways, my point is here that this side scroll, that's just magic. You can just kind of scroll around your storyboards, scroll around different types of files and so on. Um, when you're editing videos, I do. I edit videos. Again, side scroll is great. Yes, you kind of can uh, click and hold something like control or something else, I don't remember, and scroll with regular scroll button. But, I don't know, that side scroll works just perfectly well and also this endless kind of scroll on the wheel also when you scroll through those 5000 lines class, <laughs> it works just amazing. What I didn't like in Series 3 mouse, I think if any of your friends got MX3 in white color, ask them if they like it. So this mouse is about months old, I don't know, I bought it on day one. And it still looks decent, but the previous Series 3 mouse has this kind of rubber cover and it ages horribly bad on black mouses, but on white that ages even worse because it becomes yellowish. And yeah, of course, someone will say, wash your hands more often and so on. Believe me, that doesn't help. Even if you are cleaning this mouse regularly, it doesn't help. But here, check this out. On the... MX Master 4, we have some kind of plastic covering it here and that plastic kind of helps to do not make it look horribly bad as it happened with previous series. We got your classic back forward buttons but we have two more extra buttons here so this button basically opens all the windows that you have which is kind of handy but button here down which is kind of haptic button and so on that opens kind of things that I personally do not use. You can do screenshot, you can do, I don't know, uh, open ChatGPT, open Gemini and so on. You can lock workstation and so on. I don't know, those features I will say doesn't hurt, but I really do not use them and I am using the shortcuts always when I want to do something. So here we just open an application with this kind of quick click. Why should I care about that? I don't know. And yeah, on this haptic feedback you can basically kind of adjust how strong you would like to have it and so on, what will be in this kind of actions ring and so on. I am using this mouse because I like the form of this mouse and I like those scroll buttons. I honestly I do not care about this uh, additional button on this mouse. But when we are on Windows those buttons actually getting in a way. For example, if I am in the game, here I have game running. Let's switch my uh, MX Master to PC. If I am in the middle of the game trying to survive and accidentally clicking this button, I will get my kind of thing as well. And I can even click and lock workstation. And that is what happened actually multiple times for me in a game when I accidentally basically uh, clicked this button, 
first thing is basically this ring appears that yeah one time I managed to lock myself out from workstation in the middle of the fight with the drone and of course I'm starting to get nervous and click all the wrong buttons when <laughs> there are kind of action moments in a game so that's where gaming mouse coming in and I had few gaming mouse in my life uh, I didn't buy, buy too many of them but I had I think two or three gaming mouses. So I'm not an expert in gaming mouses, but this one is kind of nice. I got it discounted. I, I don't know what is full price, but basically it was something like 50% off. And so I kind of, yeah, why not? Because I wanted mouse with side buttons. I still I still using them in a, in a game. Those are quite handy. And this mouse is light, fast, and... I bought it mostly because I didn't like those kind of um, that side buttons, those additional buttons on MX mouse. But now, after playing few days with this mouse, I see that yeah, <laughs> it is better if you have lighter mouse. It is better if you have kind of more um, faster. Yeah, probably faster mouse. I'm not good at games, you know, but my shooting, my aiming is better with this mouse. I can kind of survive, <laughs> die less fast, you know, in games. And yeah, we unboxed this mouse on the stream. I played a little bit on it, a visit, and uh, yeah, I I was surprised positively about the mouse. Mm hmm. And I got white one as well. So I wanted to have those two side buttons to be able to use them in games. Feels nice. What else do we have in box? Oh, some kind of receiver. Pro X something. Ah, okay, I see. Adapter for USB-C, USB-A to USB-C cable. Another one. <laughs> what's that? Some kind of stickers. Could you share exactly what you don't like about MX Master 4? Too many buttons, and those buttons are kind of... Uh, doesn't work well for gaming. Oh, silence, nice. Cool. Oh, shit. I think it is nicer. I kind of, you saw, those shots were kind of, I surprised myself. <laughs> shots were nice. Yeah, I like this mouse. This mouse indeed is nice. To be honest, I don't think the hardware is kind of limiting thing for me. I really don't think so. I'm not good player, to be honest. I'm quite bad. Oh shit, how do you how did you do that? Oh why did I miss those shots? I don't know. Okay, I am in some kind of building where is map? Grandiosa apartment. We should go whoa across all the map. Uh, I'm kind of skeptical that we will get to the our destination alive, but uh, you know, let's try. If you don't see me, I don't see you. Okay, we good. Oh fuck! Of course. Okay, that another one still did, didn't see me. That's good. I like battery. Can I get just straight up? Let's try. Someone may kill me, of course, but whatever. Huh. 
inside here, but so far. Actually, I need that corner from this guy. Huh. Actually, I didn't expect I will get so far. Yes. to heal myself? No. Is it open? Hello? Burn faster. That's my review on of my two mouses and basically answer why I have two of them. Because MX Master, even if you are a casual gamer, if you want to enjoy your games, I don't know, once in a month or once in a week, if you have budget for gaming mouse, I will suggest you to get one. Uh, would I like to basically switch to this mouse only and do not use my MX Master? Again, now I like the form of this mouse. I like how big and heavy it is in my hand. And I like those scroll buttons and even additional buttons when I'm working, uh, when I'm doing any productivity work, let's say programming or whatever, video editing, writing emails <laughs> and so on, you know. For gaming, I, yeah. I didn't believe that uh, mouse can make so big difference, even for casual, very average or bad gamer. Yeah, that's my quick review for the mouse. Love it. Uh, do not regret that spend money. We'll see what I will say in, I don't know, three, six or more months, but first impressions are very, very good. Still will keep recommending this mouse for everyone who is working in office. This is my third MX Master mouse and um, yeah, I like them and I will keep them buying. Okay, see you next one.